Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be talking about one of the major problems that India is facing. Uh, that is economic inequality in India. Uh, let us go through it. Imagine that uh, there is uh, the economic inequality in India as such in that we always say rich always gets richer and poor always gets poorer. And uh, let us see how it works and how, uh, how we can uh, tackle it. So this uh, stark reality has been persistent for past half century with uh, disparities widening further since economic uh, reform since 1991. Now um, uh, the stats, in late 1980s the top 1% of consumers in India lived, uh, lived uh, like royalty enjoying 25 times more real consumption per person than the bottom 1%. Imagine the distance between a luxury penthouse in Mumbai and a humble hut in a rural village. That is the gap we are talking about here. Uh, but there is more. A uh, wealth distribution uh, paints an equally alarming picture here. The wealthiest 10% control a staggering 50% of the total assets, leaving the rest of the 90% over the crumbs. Uh, think of this as a monopoly game where a handful of players board all the properties and resources leaving others to just uh, struggle to survive. So what can we do about this initiative? Firstly, uh, let's talk about the taxes, not the dull bureaucratic kind, but the progressive taxation uh, that hits affluent, where it hurts their wallets. Imagine a world where ultra rich pay, pay their fair share, allowing us to fund essential services, uh, do not, uh, do not uh, cut their taxes or find schemes to um, just uh, lose them and uh, they also uh, they also do some programs for the need it's like just the robin hood but with spreadsheet not uh, bows and arrows next up we can uh, tackle the corporate grid it's time to close loopholes and ensure that big businesses pay their dues by redistributing the corporate profits towards social initiatives we can level the playing field and give everyone a shot at prosperity it's a win-win situation more money for social welfare and fewer yachts for corporate executives. Uh, but our journey doesn't end there. Affirmative actions in our compass guiding us towards a more equitable future by providing marginalized group with equal access to education, healthcare and uh, job opportunities. We can uh, dismantle the barriers that have held them back for centuries. It's about giving everyone a seat at a table and empowering them to shape their destinies with equal opportunities of course and uh, implementing these measures won't be easy um, political roadblocks uh, bureaucratic hurdles stand in our way like uh, dragons guarding the treasure trove but fear not for every challenge presents an opportunity for change and uh, i think uh, we should firstly focus on the policies that limit the economic gains of the rich this includes the uh, taxation and all and additionally eliminate the corporate welfare that we have talked before. On the other hand, we must also prioritize measures that expand the economic gains of the poor and marginalized communities. This involves improving access to quality health care, uh, education and uh, high, uh, that we have talked as well as facilitating their access to credit markets, uh, promoting higher employment, uh, shifting asset ownership to actual production, especially the cultivators, the farmers or the uh, uh, the workers is, uh, these are also crucial steps that are needed in this direction it's disheartening to see these policies are not pursued to as a great greater extent uh, extent nowadays this highlights the challenges posed by current political landscape where vested interests often hinder uh, progressive reforms we can relate this to our indian economy as well however there's hope the recent experience in brazil uh, which uh, kind of is a growing economy uh, similar to India serves as a shining example of how rapid economic growth can be coupled with reduction in e economic inequality. Despite facing similar challenges, Brazil managed to implement policy policies changes that uh, led to a significant decline in e inequality since uh, 1990s. As we uh, move forward, it is essential to learn from such experiences and chart a course towards a more equitable. Uh, future for India by implementing bold and comprehensive reforms and we can uh, develop a society where individuals has uh, has the equal opportunity to thrive 
in conclusion i would like to say that addressing inequalities in india economic inequalities in india is uh, challenging and it ne- it requires courage determination from all the sides from the economists from the government from us as well and by uh, having progressive policies we can bridge the gap between the haves and have nots and make the society prosperous thank you